Ghana is not a serious country and it doesn't look like it wants to be a serious country. Uber drivers are in trouble. You know, the online drivers association of Ghana, aka the Uber drivers, they have been under attack of late. So being an Uber driver in Ghana right now has become a dangerous job. So if you try to look at things like this, complaining about the state of crime in the country, and the government tries to shift the blame back to the citizens, saying that they should fix themselves. Does this make sense? The ordinary average driver has now started to fear for their own life due to the high rate of armed robbery and criminal activities. You see, what is happening is that these Uber drivers, they get hired by fraudulent people who pretend to be customers or passengers looking for a ride. So immediately they, they hire you, you pull up to them and then they pick you to your destination. They can divert the journey to a hideout. I mean, <laughs> probably the bush. Just fool you to, you know, to, to think that you are, we are taking them to a home. Meanwhile, they have already ganged up with their own apparatus in an attempt to snatch the car from you, steal you, stab you, and a whole lot of bad things. So unemployment rates, I see unemployment rate in Ghana to be going high. Not because of the citizens themselves sometimes, but the failure of the government and the security agencies to protect the ordinary citizens. This is annoying because a good number of Ghanaian drivers, they make their income from online driving activities, you see, using the Uber app to book uh, passengers and here and there. And these activities like this, it is normally abundant in the big cities, namely Accra, Kumasi, Therma, and other metropolitan areas. So if the government cannot provide security for Uber drivers, it is not only about Uber drivers. Look at the other kind of uh, road, road uh, arm robbery and things. As for the road accidents, I don't even want to talk about that because that one is like it has like has now become a new norm. Ghana loses the whole of Africa in terms of careless road accidents and events like this. If you want to complain, the culture of silence becomes the order of the day. Said that a president who claims to care for the citizens and then saying that they should be <laughs> citizens and not spectators is now <laughs> silencing everybody. So if you see events happening this way and you try to complain, the government doesn't like that. But I think it doesn't speak well of the democratic credentials of Mother Ghana as a prominent country in Africa. The leaders need to rise and stop disturbing people who want to protest. Protests are all part of democratic principles. You can't silence the people by saying that security agencies should go and sack them, beat them up if they, find, if they come out in their numbers to protest. Protest means there is something amiss with your government and you should have to address it. A responsible leader will never try to put fear into the citizens. They should rather try to create forums, communication channels for everyone to express their views because this is the citizens' own way of what? Participating in the government. So that's, that's my humble opinion. Right now, if you have a brother or sister who is to Uber driving businesses or in any part of the country, please advise the person to drive carefully because the country is no longer safe. Kill, ritual killings, <laughs> stabbing, <laughs> Charlie, it's not easy to be a Ghanaian. The, 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 the spirit of crime in this country is just alarming that you can't just make head or tail of the matter. And it's all down to bad governments. The country doesn't have good leaders who can think beyond the horizon to see that, look, you have to nip this practice in the bud before it gets late. And this has become a norm. Each government comes, the next one comes, the same story. And we keep voting, you see. These are some of the reasons why I like sometimes political activities, I don't like to participate in them. 
because people cannot reason for themselves. And they queue up to vote massively for people to go and sit in high offices, doing rubbish, and then trying to silence people from saying their minds. COVID-19 pandemic, it has not only affected Ghana, it's the whole world. So why should, in the middle of this pandemic, the government is now allowing a lot of criminal activities to go on, unchecked. Security agencies are there to protect the citizens. They are not there to just sit aloof while criminal activities go on like anything. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video.